At 6.30 p.m. on the evening of April 20, 1889, Adolf was born in the small Austrian village just across the border from German. His father, Alois, was an illegitimate son of Maria Anna Schickelgruber and her unknown maid, which may have been someone from the neighborhood named Johann Jörg Hitler. It is also possible that Adolf Hitler's grandfather was Jewish. Adolf Hitler would never for sure know who his grandfather is. Alois has always used the last name of his mother, Schickelgruber, and thus was always called Alois Schickelgruber. He made no attempt to hide the fact that he was illegitimate son, since it was common in rural Austria. But after his success in civil service, his proud uncle convinced him to change his last name to match his own, Hitler and continue the family name. However, when it came time to write the name down in the record book, it was spelled as Hitler. In 1885, after numerous affairs and two other marriages ended, the widowed Alios Hitler married pregnant Clara Pozzo, his niece, who was just 24 at that time. The children from his previous marriage were Alios Hitler Jr. and Angela. Clara eventually gave birth to two boys and a girl, all of whom died. Then on April 28, 1889, her fourth child, Adolf, was born healthy to a 52-year-old father. Throughout his early days, young Adolf's mother feared losing him as well and lavished more care and affection on him. He also had a younger brother named Edmund and a sister Paula conceived by his mother in the following years. Their entire family lived on a small farm outside of Linz, Austria. The children had farm chores to perform along with their schoolwork. Now his retired father always used to give orders and expected discipline from his children. If not, they would be beaten badly. One day the oldest boy, Alios Jr., couldn't bore the brunt of his father's discontent, including harsh words and occasional beating. So at the age of 14, he ran away from the home. This put young Adolf aged 7 years next in line for the same treatment. Young Adolf did well in monastery school, also took part in the boys' choirs. He was said to have had a fine singing voice. He idolized priests and for two years seriously considered becoming a priest himself. His favorite game to play outside was Cowboys and Indians. Books by Jim Fenimore Cooper and especially German writer Carl May were eagerly read and reenacted. He has read a total of 70 novels of May and continued reading even as a Führer. Hitler's family used to move from place to place, which meant Adolf had to change his school numerous times. He found school easy and got good grades with little effort. He also discovered he had considerable talent for drawing, especially sketching buildings. He had the ability to look at a building, memorize the architectural details and accurately reproduce it on a paper entirely from memory. One day, young Hitler went rummaging through his father's book collection and came across several of a military nature, including a picture book of the War of 1870. 71 between Germans and the French. By Hitler's own account, this book became an obsession. But now at home, tragedy struck, which may have been lucky to Adolf Hitler when his abusive father died of lung hemorrhage, leaving 13-year-old son as head of the Hitler household. For Adolf, there would be no more harsh words and no more arguing with his father, especially over his career choice. Hitler's father had insisted him to become a civil servant, but he had dreamt of becoming an artist. For convenience, young Hitler went to live at boys' boarding house in Linz, where he was attending the technical high school. Hitler was remembered by the woman who ran the boarding house as a nervous, awkward boy who spent most of his time reading and drawing. He was a lazy and uncooperative student. Then Hitler slowly began to lose his interest in studying and failed in many subjects. 
Many teachers disliked him because he used to pull pranks on them like releasing cockroaches in the classroom, rearranging the desks and doing opposite of what teacher says. They even gave him a grace marks just for him to get out of their school. After dropping out of high school in 1905 at age 16, Adolf Hitler spent the next few years in brooding idleness. His indulgent mother patiently urged him to learn a trade or get a job. But to young Hitler, the idea of daily work with its necessary submission to authority was revolting. With his father now dead, there was no one who could tell young Hitler what to do. So he did exactly as he pleased. He spent his time wandering around the city of Linz, Austria, visiting museums, attending the opera, and sitting by the river dreaming of becoming a great artist. His only friend was with another young dreamer named August Kubisek. who wanted to be a great musician Kubizek later described Hitler's personality as violent and high strung Hitler would only tolerate approval from his friend and could not stand to be corrected Young Hitler did not have a girlfriend but he did have an obsessive interest in a young blonde named Stephanie He would stare at her as she walked by and sometimes followed her He wrote her many love poems but he never delivered the poem or worked up the nerve to introduce himself preferring to keep her in his fantasies he decided to attend the prestigious vienna academy of fine arts with his inheritance money he took the exam and was filled with confidence that he would pass but failure struck him like a bolt of lightning his test drawings were judged unsatisfactory and he was not admitted Now feeling quite depressed, Hitler left Vienna and returned home where his beloved mother was dying from cancer, making matters even worse. Adolf Hitler sobbed when the doctor told him she was gravely ill and needed immediate surgery. A few days later, Clara Hitler, 46, was operated on and had one of her breasts removed. But the operation was too late. Her illness would slowly ravage her body. She couldn't make it up the stairs to the family apartment so they moved into a first floor apartment in a suburb next to Linz Austria Clara bore the pain well but Adolf anguished every moment of her suffering her condition steadily worsened and as the festive christmas season approached in december 1907 she was near death in the early hours of december 21st amid the glowing lights of the family's christmas tree she died quietly She was buried next to her husband. The cemetery also contained her son Edward, Adolf's young brother, who had died from measles at age 6. Now with both the parents gone, Hitler once again set his sights on Vienna and the Art Academy. He moved there in February 1908. But in that beautiful old city, things would go quite poor for Hitler. He would eventually wind up sleeping on park benches and eating at charity soup kitchens. His years of misery in Vienna would also be a time when he formulated many of his ideas on politics and race, which would have immense consequences in the future.